Hi, we are O O Twenty Two. King John, Act Four, Scene One. Arthur, Hubert. Good morrow, Hubert. Good morrow, little prince. As little prince having so great a title, to be more prince as may be. You are sad. Indeed, I have been merrier. Mercy on me. Methinks nobody should be sad but I. I should be as merry as the day is long. And so I would be here. But that I doubt, my uncle practices more harm to me. He is afraid of me, and I of him. <laughs> Is it my fault that I was Geoffrey's son? <laughs> no, indeed, it's not. And I would to heaven that I were your son. So you would love me, Hubert. If I do speak to him with his innocent prate, he will awake my mercy, which lies dead. Therefore, I will be sudden and dispatch. Are you sick, Hubert? You look pale today. In sooth, I would you were a little sick, <laughs> that I might sit all night and watch with you. I warrant I love you more than you do me. His words do take possession of my bosom. Read here, young Arthur. I must be brief, lest resolution drop out of my eyes in tender, womanish tears. Can you not read it? Is it not fair writ? Too fairly, Hubert, for so foul effect must you with hot irons burn out both mine eyes? Young boy, I must. And will you? And I will. Oh, have you the heart? When your head did but ache, I knit my candidature about your brow. The best I had of it has rotted me. <laughs> will you burn out these eyes, these eyes that never did, nor never shall so much as frown upon you? I have sworn to do it, and with hot irons must I burn them out. And if, and if an angel should have come to me and told me that I should, that Hubert should burn out mine eyes, I would not have believed him, no tongue but Hubert's. Come, boy. Do as I bid you do. Oh, save me, Hubert, save me. My eyes are out. Come, boy, prepare yourself. Is there no remedy? None but to lose your eyes. Hubert, I forgive you. <laughs> See to the lamp. I will not touch thine eyes for all the treasure thine uncle owes. Now you look like Hubert. All this while you were just disguised. Peace. No more. Adieu. Your uncle must not know but you are dead. I'll fill these dogged spies with false reports. And pretty child, sleep doubtless and secure, that Hubert, for the wealth of all the world, will not offend thee. To the heavens I thank you, Hubert. Silence. No more. Going closely with me, much danger do I undergo for thee. <laughs> 